What's up, everyone? What's up? Unfortunately, got a report on some bad shit. Very, <laughs> very, yeah. Very bad shit. So, uh, I'm just going to give it to you. No homo. No homo. <laughs> this piece of shit right here went on a rampage. Yeah. People dead, three more injured. Uh, Caitlin, you live in that area of the world. Yes. Why don't you uh, tell us what the news was saying? Yeah. So, because um, I was getting live updates last night uh, via my, my mother um, as this was going on. Apparently, this young man um, set up an Instagram page and told everybody that a purge day was coming and that it was going to make him famous. Caitlin, you, Caitlin, you keep getting that wrong. It's Facebook. Well, there was a screenshot of his Instagram with that in the bio. Okay, well, the, okay. He live so. streamed on Facebook, though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there was prior knowledge that most likely he was a volatile person and was going yeah. to do something stupid. So on his Instagram, he was posting all kinds of shit that was obvious red flags. Stuff that should, you know, he should have been fucking reported to the police for. And then he snapped one day and went live on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm now what were you saying before I interrupted you for that? Um, well, what I was saying was last night he, um, he went live on Facebook and ended up carjacking a woman and shooting her dead. And he ended up um, killing four people and injuring um, three more. So they finally caught him in Whitehaven, where they were able to get, they were able to surround and get him to surrender, which everybody here um, feels that should have gone down a little differently. Yeah. I think, uh, I think personally, here's what I think. When our system of justice was designed, the founding fathers had no idea that we were going to get to a place where you could have literal incontrovertible proof that someone did something. Yeah. They yeah. never thought, they never dreamed that that was going to be a thing because back in the day, the best proof you could ever get were multiple eyewitness accounts. And obviously, you can get a group of people to lie. So, never in their wildest dreams did the founding fathers dream of a world where there could be intro incontrovertible, undeniable proof that someone committed a crime. Yeah. It is my personal opinion that we should make some laws that make it so that if someone does something like this live on stream, like this piece of shit did, streams himself going on a rampage, four people dead, we should be able to fast track him for the firing squad. No trial. Nothing. No trial. No due process. Goes in a cell, scheduled for, for, for a firing squad, not to exceed one week. Firing squad happens. His name is struck from history. His picture is struck from the internet. The individual ceases to exist. You want to stop mass shootings? You want to stop mass stabbings? That's what people need to start doing. That's what governments need to start doing. Yeah. And and I, let me be clear. I'm a big fan of due process. I'm a big fan of innocent until proven guilty. But come on! Yeah. Come on! When is it enough? Like, the Democrats constantly fucking talk about enough is enough and they want to ban your right to protect yourself. How about solutions that would actually deter criminals? Mm -hmm. Because guess what? Criminals don't give a fuck about gun laws. You want to deter criminals? How about the knowledge that if you get caught doing this, if you do something like this where you literally live stream yourself doing this shit, you're going to get the firing squad and your name and the main thing these people want, the main thing they're looking for, the infamy... They're desperate to be noticed. You'll never be noticed again. You'll mm -hmm. cease to exist in any way that matters. Mm -hmm. 
No grave. No marked grave. You're, you'll be burned. Your ashes will be scattered in the sewer where they belong. Yeah. And, yeah. and you you would see things like this pretty much cease to exist. Yeah. The other thing that would help for things like this to cease to exist, along with the issue um, of what also happened recently here in Memphis with the kidnapping of Eliza Fletcher. This, in very, in very similar instance to that situation, this was a result of this person being let out early. Correct. We see that here at the end right here. Records show he pleaded guilty to aggravated assault and was sentenced in 2021 to three years. He should still be in prison. Right. He was let out after less than a year yeah. for aggravated assault and attempted murder. Mm-hmm. So was the uh, so was the guy who um, kidnapped, raped, and murdered Eliza Fletcher. Right. He was let out. Uh, I think it was a year and a half, two years before his sentence was supposed to be over. And it ain't conservative prosecutors or judges who are doing that. No. No. Because Memphis is extremely liberal. That's why their taxes are so fucking high. And why people down here where I am are having runoff from Memphis. Keep your shit at home. We're done. Talk about when is enough enough. They love to talk about. They love to talk about the gun violence epidemic. How about the pieces of shit being let out of prison early or at all yeah. epidemic? Yeah. Bring back the death penalty, folks. Yes. And let's stop this. They sat in, in prison for 20 years waiting for the chair. None of that. You're mm-hmm. sentenced to the death penalty within a week. You fry. Right. Unless there is a good reason we should be reexamining the evidence. Unless the law, de- unless the defense can provide very good reasons why we should reexamine evidence, mistrial, ask for a mistrial, whatever. Yeah. And. I want to be clear, I'm only advocating for that expedited death sentence when there's incontrovertible proof. Mm-hmm. Video evidence, multiple, like a dozen eyewitness accounts, like l- the person live streamed themselves doing it. When there is incontrovertible proof that we know person did something, expedited death penalty, yep. no trial. I'm, I'm done. I, I, I love due process. I really do. Yeah. And I think that our legal system is pretty much the best legal system that was ever conceived, even though it is now in a state of tremendous corruption, where if you're rich, the law does not apply to you. And if you have the right friends, the law does not apply to you. Mm-hmm. But when it works as it's supposed to, the law system we have is very good. But it was designed in a world where absolute proof was not a thing. We have the capability of absolute proof now. Some changes need to be made. We need an overhaul. And you can say you can say I'm wrong. You can say that's a moral slippery slope. You can blah, 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 blah. Well, we got to do something. Yeah. And it's better than taking innocent people's guns away. It's better than having people lose their shit and go full-blown Punisher mode. You want a bunch of vigilantes in the streets? Because we're about this far away from that. Yeah. There's only so much people are going to take. You can't ha- you can't hike up their food prices and hike up their energy costs and push them out of their homes and have crime all over the streets. Mm-mm. The bubble's about to pop. Yeah. That's yeah. all I'm going to say about this one. Unless Kate has something else, we're going to go. Well, I'm just, um, just going to say um, people running this place need to be more discerning about who they're letting out and, you know, stop thinking about their expense reports rather than people's lives. Yeah. How about this? No more early release for violent felons. Mm-hmm. 
if your felony was violent, no more early release and mandated psychotherapy while you're in. Yep. Mandated weekly sessions with a qualified therapist for all violent convictees. Yep. Like there needs to be a rehabilitation component mm -hmm. and they're not getting it. Yep. You shove the violent psychopath into a place full of violence and danger and give them nothing to do but stab people with a shank and, tra and weight train for 10 years and then you let them back out into society. How is that a good fucking idea? We need prison reform and we need legal reform. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, welcome to the adventure. The adventure.